You know Sometimes It's like he be on I'd have been knocked down a thousand times Yeah, I traveled around a thousand miles Feeling so tired, but you know I can't stop now Came way too far, won't throw in a towel It ain't right here, demons all around, but I ain't got no Hey guys, it is October the 5th and it's 6 o'clock right now and I'm out on the back porch uh, enjoying this beautiful fall weather and uh, outside reading my Bible here and something came to my mind, you know, as you all know I've got a uh, outdoors channel, a YouTube channel and at the end of all of my videos I'll put Jesus Christ as King. And I got to thinking today, I was just like, dude, I need to do, <clears throat> I need to do more than just put Jesus uh, Christ as king. I need to tell people about Christ, and I need to tell people, you know, how, how I met Christ and how it's changed my life. Uh, so, and, and, and another thing, people I mostly talk to about God, uh, they've, they've often told me, well, if there is a God... Why do all of these bad things happen to me? Why is there death? Why is all these bad things happening to me? And another thing, are they life after death? I mean, you go, you, you go down the road, you look to your left or your right, and you see a cemetery, and there's a bunch of gravestones with names, and <clears throat> you, go to a, uh, you go to a funeral, and uh, see somebody in a casket, death, and a lot of people, it's a scary thing, a lot of people don't want to speak of it, uh, but the way that I live and the way that I believe, I want to just kind of ball all that up, all those questions, and kind of give you all my answer and my thoughts. So here's a Bible verse that after I've, I've joined this church for two years, and uh, this Bible verse, man, I've heard a few preachers, they spoke on it, and uh, it's really just told me everything that I need to know, just this one scripture. Now you listen to this. <clears throat> For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. And for those of you who are, who've, who've wondered, if there is a God, why is there all these things going on in the, in the, in the world? Why is there, you know... Uh, Poverty, disease, sickness, uh, psychological problems, moral problems, uh, drug addiction, murder statistics, uh, loneliness, boredom, selfishness, anger. What's all of these things? And uh, I'm just going to say it out. That's actually not God doing all these things. The God who created the heaven and the earth. So, I'm going to go back to Genesis where, where it says how the true God who created the heavens and the earth, uh, the beast and the creatures and, and Adam and Eve, there's actually a thing called sin. And sin is what's destroying us. But... There is something that works through sin. And in this Bible, I think it's the third chapter of Genesis, uh, the first verse, it talks about a serpent that was, that's, that was more subtle, S-U-B-T-I-L, than other beasts or creation. And it talks of there is a devil... Some people call it Satan, that is the prince of this world, not the 
I've heard people say the God of this world is Satan. But I, he's, the prince of this world is the devil. And he's working through sin. And this verse, you know, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. So we're going to have death. And all of your problems... All of your heartaches, your 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 trials, your your tribulations, and all of these bad things are from sin, and it's destroying you. And so it's not God; it's actually your own actions through sin, which the devil works through. And the Bible says he's confusion, he's fear. He can put fear in your life. And I think in one verse, I don't really, I don't. You know the exact verse, but it talked about the devil roaming and being a uh, roaring lion. So, sin is what's destroying the world, why we can't find world peace. People try to find peace in all these things. Drug, alcohol, uh, sex, money, uh, materialistic things, all these things, they're trying to find peace through it, and it's not there. This Bible's telling us today that materialistic things is not the true way to find peace. And the devil works through all these things. And I think it's the f maybe the first commandment. It says, Thou shalt not have no other gods before me. And so people are actually worshiping things in this world and it's not God it's not godly and that's why it's destroying us and they can't figure out why it's confusion and it's sin it's the devil so if you're not living for God you're only living for one other thing and that's sin and the devil works through sin and this verse says you're going to die and I truly believe that they are a heaven and they are a hell. I've seen so much evil things. I mean, I've not witnessed a lot, but I mean I've I've you know, I've I've not witnessed, you know, like somebody murdering somebody or somebody uh raping somebody or just all these terrible things, but I can look in the world today, you hear it on the news, you you, you read it in the newspaper, all these things, uh, look at all the jails, where's all this evil coming from? And it's, it's, it's sin, it's the devil. And I truly believe that there is a price to pay. The devil can give you all these things, he can confuse you and give you this and that, the money, the clothes, the sex, the drugs, but it ends so quick. It ends so quick. And I'm afraid that there's a price to pay. Through all of this sin, there's a price to pay. But God, the true God who created everything, sent His Son, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ came through and He healed the sick, He healed the blind. And I've not really read a lot of this. I've not, I've not read too much of it, but I've heard that when Jesus came through, the devil tried to get him to commit suicide, offered him kingdoms, offered him all of these things of the world, and Christ denied it for us because he loved us so much. And the world destroyed him. Some, And that, that's what I, I've always wondered. I've said, why, if Jesus came through and he healed the sick and he healed the blind, why did they want to kill him? Because some of the world just does not want peace, the true peace. And I'm talking about all these things. I'm talking about the money, the drugs, the sex, the, 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 all these things. And through all of these things that God has created for us, we're using them the wrong way. We're using a bunch of things that God has created us the wrong way and it's sin and it's killing us today. And if you're lost and you don't know Christ, and if you're lost and you don't know Christ, the only way that you can be saved is through conviction of the Holy Spirit. You have to be convicted by the Holy Spirit to be able to be saved. So at a very young age when I had got saved, I was 13 years old when I had first accepted Christ and I got away. I got away from Christ and I think I was probably, I would say from 15 
all the way up till I was 23, 24, yeah, 15 to 24. Uh, I was just out in the world living, not for God, I'll just say that much. And uh, the older I got, the more deep I felt like I got into sin and I really didn't know, you know, I knew I was saved. And I had always something inside of me telling me, you don't need to be doing that. Get away, get away, get away. Uh, and the older I got, you know, I, I feel like sin just was destroying me. I've been to the biggest, I've been to some of the biggest nightclubs in New York City, some of the biggest nightclubs in Panama City. I've done things that I am not. Uh, but through all of this sin, it was destroying my body. And two years ago, I got really sick and I started <clears throat> bleeding in my stomach and I was working a job that was stressing me out and I was still going out doing things I shouldn't and uh, my grandmother would always invite me to this church and I was I was just like man I ain't you know I ain't trying to go there and you know stuff like that and finally through so much sin <clears throat> uh, I got down so bad I just didn't want to live I was bleeding out of my stomach, I didn't want to live, and I went to multiple doctors, and finally I went to another doctor. I just subscribed me some depression pills and all these things, and it just took me to a whole nother world. I tried the, you know, the, those medications, I was like, sure, anything will work, you know, just to get me to not feel this way. And uh, it didn't work, it put me in another world, I just felt crazy. And I can remember I was going down the road, and uh, I was just like, what am I going to do? I was just like, what am I going to do? I was like, I don't want to live uh, just in the darkest place of my whole entire life. And I can remember going down the road. I looked over to my left, and I had seen that church that my grandmother had went to. And I felt something just come across me. It was just like chills run across me and I I felt so I didn't hear it but I felt it was crazy because I felt something inside of me say it it said home and immediately it was just like me accepting Christ at a young age it was just like it was like bringing me back you know it was it was like God was telling me you've got away from me through sin you have got away from me and it's destroying you. You need to come back. And still I said, I was like, dude, I'm not wanting to go to this church. I'm not wanting to go to this church. But I just, I didn't have no other option. It was either that or literally just kill myself. And suicide is not the answer to the problem. So if you're thinking about suicide, that is nothing but the devil. It is not, suicide does not fix anything. It's, it's, it's the devil's work. So do not ever think about suicide. Um, so the, the next day was Sunday I went down here to this church and finally I just I got up and I told him everything that was going on to me and I, I can remember my pastor <clears throat> I didn't know him at the time he didn't know me uh, he looked at me and he said young man God's got a purpose for you and when he said that it was just I felt chills again then and uh, I think it was like the next Sunday I went back and uh, there was a woman there. She was like, do you want us to pray for you? And I was like, yeah. So I went up to the altar and they gathered me in and they prayed for me. And I can remember ever since they prayed for me, it was just like a, it was just going up, like a staircase, just going up. And uh, ever, ever since then, you know, I, I guess you could say I recommitted myself to Christ. I, 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 I tell everybody, God is good. The Holy Spirit of Jesus Christ can heal you. He can save you. He can help you. But the main thing is get away from sin. Get away from all these evil things because it is destroying you. It's not God. It's through your own actions, through sin. And the devil is working through sin. And I believe as a true born-again Christian, it's my job to let the lost know about all these things. Introduce the gospel. The gospel has helped me so much and people want to down the Bible. Through this gospel, 
And this Bible, man, this Bible through all these scriptures, this was actually, the Bible was written as, uh, it was Greek. It was actually Greek translated into uh, English. And the disciples that followed Jesus Christ, this is from them. And I call them heroes. That's, that's, I, I was talking to my neighbor and he, he was talking about how all these disciples you know they were heroes that's the true heroes and uh, everybody wants to mock the Bible and they 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 want to down it but through the gospel man it just shows you how to live a true and a pure and a happy and joyful life and healthy you know that's one thing that I want in life I want health and peace you can have all the money you can have all the fame you can have all the sex and the drugs it's not done me any good so I just want health and peace. I want health and peace and joy and happiness. And you can get that through the Holy Spirit of Jesus Christ. And you can read these scriptures. We have these scriptures to fight off the devil. And that's what it, that's what it says. We're supposed to memorize scriptures. And that's, that's, that's when, uh, you know, when, when sin, when the temptations and all these things are getting, you know, dragging us down. We're supposed to read. We're supposed to pray and fight off all these evil things and it's a war you know i believe in spiritual warfare you know when you when when i when i first got close to christ i started i started doubting my salvation and all these weird things started happening to me i started having you know some dreams and just all these crazy things were just like happening to me that had never happened to me before and what it was when i wasn't living for god the devil never did bother me but when I got close to Christ and I started testifying and trying to tell people that's when he started to fight me and I, I truly believe that a true born-again Christian faces the devil every single day so here's your answer for the wages of sin is death but the gift of God is eternal life they are life after death and you can either choose you can choose heaven or you can choose hell I don't. I, I wish that hell didn't exist, and I wish that I've heard some preachers they've preached before, and they're going to hell. They're going to hell, and if they, you know, this and that. But uh, shame on them, because I truly believe that we're supposed to have the lost saved. That's that should be our goal: is to get the lost saved. And if 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 you're preaching like that, man, I mean, you you need to go on somewhere. And I don't I don't claim to be no preacher, but I do believe in testifying and reading the Word of God. That's what I truly believe. I, I think that you have to be truly called from God to preach. And I've just not I've I've not been called, you know. But I just truly believe that you have to be called from God to preach. And you know, I've I've never been called. I mean, if He does call me, you know, I'll. Uh, I'll accept it, but uh, that's just my beliefs and that's my thoughts. And if you're lost today and you don't know Christ, the the thing that my advice to you is to pray and 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 pray to God that He'll send Christ in your life and 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 you can accept it and have the joy and the peace that you need to get away from sin. That's what this Bible's saying. Repent, repent, repent. There's a lot of people that don't like repent. They they wanna they wanna do these worldly things and they wanna go out here, let me drink, let me smoke, let me sleep with whoever, let me do all these things. And uh and then I can go to church on Sunday and everything's on everything's gonna be fine. It's not gonna be fine. You have to repent. It means turn away from sin. Uh turn away from it. And some say, well, I can't do that on my own. You can't do it on your own. That's why, that's why you have the Holy Spirit. Because once you show Christ that you're turning away from it and you start falling down, that's when he's going to help you up. He's going to give you the power to get away from all this stuff, to get away from sin, to truly sobriety. This Bible is sobriety, sobriety, sobriety. And some people think that you can still drink alcohol and, and, and it's okay and all this thing but I think alcohol they call it a wine and a spirit but I think alcohol is a spirit that 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 controls you and that has something over you to where you can't get close to God and that's just what I believe in so that's my beliefs uh, I believe that there's a heaven and a hell 
I believe that if you're saved, you're going to heaven. If you're lost, you're going to hell for eternity. And people don't like that, but I believe that it's the truth. And the truth, there's no other way around it. We are God's creation. He's our Father. But the thing about it is, we're at a free will down here. And if you don't want to go His way, He's not going to make you. You can go the other way, but there's a price to pay. And I pray each one of you that is listening to this have accepted Jesus Christ. And that way we can all be in heaven. Peace, joy. Just think about that. I think about it all the time. Because death is going to, death is going to happen. Uh, something people you know, but I think death is the true hero of life. Because you've got to think about it. If death didn't exist, look at Adolf Hitler, what he done to all the Jews. If death didn't exist, they would be multiple Hitlers. So death is actually the hero. But I hope you all enjoyed this video. Uh, I love you. God bless you. And I pray that you'll accept Jesus Christ. See you next time.